According to the U.S. Census, nearly one in six Americans live in poverty. That's 46 million men, women, and children. 70 miles outside Chicago is perhaps the poorest town in the Midwest, Pembroke, Illinois. A town where garbage burns nearly everywhere. Yards are littered with debris. There is no police, no school, no stores, no public utilities, and no jobs. Officially, there's about 3,000 people that live here in Pembroke. But the reality is, it's more like 6,000 people that are unaccounted for. Off a desolate gravel road in the woods of Pembroke live the Bargy family. Ken Bargy had to stop working five years ago because of his health and is now on disability. I've had three heart attacks, a stroke, and two back surgeries. I've had C3 to C7 fused together. Affording life is often hard to pay for. The Bargy family lives off minimal funds. Yeah, about 18000 a year. For a family of? Five. Two kids, a wife, and my mother. How do you do that? Don't go hog wild on, them, on, on buying stuff. His wife drives a school bus in a neighboring community. This is the old bus that she used to operate. Now it sits in their front lawn. His kids attend a school about 20 miles away. And inside the trailer lies Ken's bedridden and dying mother. And the cancer is back and it's just literally slowly eating her up right now. And so she doesn't, they don't expect her to live much longer. Ken considers himself lucky. His family makes more than most in Pembroke, but life is getting even more grueling as of late. The cost of everything going up, it makes it even harder. So then sometimes you got to skip a light bill to buy food. You got to skip a phone bill to get food. A reflection of the lingering U.S. recession, poverty is higher than it's been in nearly 30 years. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Pembroke, Illinois.